Hi, let's take a look at your MT6 LT3 affirmation. Starting with this question here, we're asked to solve this system using substitution. And you substituted correctly. And then you distributed it correctly. Here's where your mistake is. Negative 15y plus 2y, they're on the same side. You don't subtract 2y from the same side of the equation twice. You just simplify. So let's just go back here and let's start at this step. So you got negative 15y plus 55 plus 2y equals 3. Well, negative 15y plus 2y, that's negative 13y. They're on the same side of the equal sign. You just combine them. Now, let's subtract 55 from both sides. And if we divide both sides, or Let's simplify that so we get negative 13y equals negative 52. And if I take 52 divided by 13, whoa, can't type, we get 4. We actually divide by negative 13, but a negative divided by negative is a positive. So y equals 4 rather than 3.05. And then let's, let's solve for x now. So x is 3y minus 11. But we know y is 4. So 12 minus 11 is 1. So the only mistake you made on this problem was kind of a big one, but you can't, when you simplify, you don't undo it on the same side. You, you undo it when you do to both sides equal sign, not just one side. Let's take a look at this question here, and I'm kind of confused of what you were doing. I don't know why you would use elimination for this system. To me, it seems like you're doing more work. But let's take a look here. You subtracted x from both sides. So you get negative x plus y equals 46. Negative 7x plus y equals 16. But when you add them, y plus y is 2y. They don't cancel. So it should be negative x plus 2y. So in other words, elimination didn't work on this one. Well, at least not the way you did it. But I don't know why we'd use elimination. Notice they both equal y. So what I'm going to do is instead of writing y, I'm going to write 7x plus 6. So we have 7x plus 16 equals x plus 46. Instead of writing y, we're going to write 7x plus 16, in other words. Now, let's solve that equation. Minus x from both sides. And we get 6x plus 16 equals 46. Subtract 16 from both sides. 6x equals 30. Divide by 6 x equals 5. Now let's solve for y. I'll, I'll do y equals x plus 46. You can do either one. And then y equals 5 plus 46. So y equals 51. So the ordered pair you would get is 5, 51. Now if you choose to do elimination, that's fine, but you got to subtract your two equations. You can't add them. I don't know how you got this question wrong because I want you to use the Alex calculator and just graph them and see where they intersect. 
Now I don't have access to the arcs calculator. I'm gonna use decimals, but it's almost the same thing. So y equals negative x minus three. So I'm gonna graph y equals negative x minus three. And then our other equation is negative four x minus five. And then see where they, they intersect right there at 0.4 and negative 3.4. That's all you had to do. And here's a system with elimination. And you set it up perfectly. 5x plus 3y, so, and 2x minus 3y, notice the y is canceled when you add them, x equals 3. Let's solve, let's solve for y now. You lost your negative sign. That's what I, I'm noticing right here. Negative 3 minus 15 is negative 18, so y should have been a negative 6. But you did the rest of it right. Okay, I've got the redo open for you. You should be able to complete that today.